everybody, Nerd in Texoma again. Another episode here. Uh, probably not going to be too long, I don't think, because it's covering an item in my collection that y'all have seen before, but not this particular version of it. Uh, Long-time viewers of the channel here will recognize a while back that I showcased the Dr. Wu Prime Commander Purple Limited version, which is a third-party manufacturer, Dr. Wu is, that's made uh, a line of world's smallest transformers, and this just happened to be the Shattered Glass version the purple version, where he's in a alternate universe, basically similar to uh, the mirror universe in Star Trek, where the good guys are bad, bad guys are good. So Optimus Prime is the leader of the evil Autobots. Well, since then, there's, uh, there's a couple other versions that he's made with that original release of the purple limited version and now for 2022 he has released two more versions of this uh world's smallest transformer optimus prime and one of them just kind of spoke and grabbed me and was like you must have and i had recently gotten this all the way from china i got the Dr. Wu Prime Commander Gold Limited Version. Still Dr. Wu. It's got some, I guess, tracking from the warehouse where they made it. Got all his warnings. It says choking hazard. Don't give to children under three, but yet there it says ages 16 and up. Why you would give it to a kid that's three when it clearly says ages 16 and up, I don't know. That's on you if you do it. But uh, it's basically the exact same box as the purple limited edition, but it's just done in a gold motif. Now it's not fully gold. Uh, the actual figure, he does use some, eh, I would say, mustardy colored uh, plastic, especially back there for the trailer. The wheels on the truck are that mustardy, but it's got nice detail in shiny gold there. The cab is kind of a darker gold plastic. Uh, I think it's another pretty nice figure. I'm not going to take the purple one out of the box because, you know, you've already got the video of that. It's already up on this channel. Go back and look it up if you have to or want to. Your choice on that. I'm just kind of showing off the figure. Now, again, since these are third-party figures not officially licensed by Hasbro, they generally do not come with the faction logos. Autobot, Decepticon, you know, whichever faction they're in on whatever figure they are. So I added these myself from actually a set that I found at Dollar Tree of uh, Transformer stickers. And I was looking at them, I'm like, what the heck am I ever going to use a yellow Autobot symbol for? But... Going with the gold figure. Let's see if I can get that to zoom in better. If it'll focus. Eh, anyhow, with the uh, gold Autobot, there he is, that yellow kind of pretty much works. Like I say, you've got the nice shiny gold on the windows, on the grill and bumper, 
right there on his vents on his feet. I uh, can see it on the smokestack, on his faceplate there. And again, I know the focus is not zooming in properly, but if you look closely, right up there in his eyes, you can see his eyes are actually painted blue, which I think is amazing detail. Again, you know, I'm not going to get into everything because aside from the color variation, this is exactly the same figure as the purple version that I showed off a while back. comes with the exact same things. This is just a quick kind of overview on the gold version of the figure itself. Again, like I say, the trailer is where I have to... Eh... It's nice, but it's this mustardy yellow as opposed to what I call like the richer dark gold here on the bottom side of the trailer. Why they couldn't have used that color all the way around, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I understand wanting a little breakup in the color so it's not just overwhelming with uh, just one solid color but I mean in my opinion uh, yes he's got the mustardy yellow on his thighs there uh, he's got the kinda orangey mustard yellow on his wheels you know why they couldn't have gone for this more uh, darker bronzy type of gold that's on his arm and his, his, and his main chest and his lower legs and his feet and you know just copied that over onto the trailer I don't know still a cool figure. I still enjoy it. It's still, I mean, heck, it's even got the little lights detailed out on the back of the bumper of the back end of the trailer there. It's got, you know, the headlights for the cab in truck mode. You know, it's very nicely detailed. There's just, like I say, some little things like that. Again, yes, I put the yellow Autobot stickers on there to complete the Generation 1 Prime look. Uh, there are now four more versions of this mold. <sighs> I like them. Probably over time I'm going to end up buying the other four remaining ones because this is just a cool ass little figure. I mean, come on. It's Optimus Prime, but he's tiny. <laughs> Another interesting thing that I found that if you remember viewing my uh, purple version of him, I mentioned that the collector's card that comes with the purple version didn't show the artwork as the purple version of the character. It showed the original Optimus Prime colors. And I was wondering if that might be just like a cost-cutting measure, you know, just produce one set of collector's cards and pack them in for every figure, or if that was an error. Apparently... It's just a cost-cutting measure, because this is the card that came with my gold version. Uh, one thing that I find interesting is earlier today when I was comparing my gold version and my purple version, they changed the border color. The card that came with my purple version has a blue border to it. The one that came with... My gold version has a red border. 
So I don't know if that's going to be like a running change based on the year that they were released because if you can see if it'll zoom in under the Dr. Wu there, it says that this version came out in 2022. And on here, the purple version, it says 2021. So I'm not sure if that's going to be something that they're going to, you know, if they come out with other versions in the future, if they're going to have, you know, a different border around the card for different years that they come out. Uh, there certainly are way more than uh, six possible color variations of this figure that they can do. There's there's quite a bit that they could keep going for a decent amount of time. If they get some more of those rare, obscure ones like that, I'm sure I'll be buying those too. But, uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all enjoy seeing little mini gold Optimus Prime. And, uh, backstory on where gold Optimus Prime comes from is there is an episode in the original Generation 1 series called The Golden Lagoon, where as hidden in a cave or something like that, the Autobots found a way to this idyllic nature preserve that just happened to be there, you know. I don't know, different universe, alternate timeline, something, but they were out exploring and they found this, and there was a lagoon, a little pond, of a gold liquid in it. And... I forget exactly how, but one of the Autobots fell into it, came out of that little pond, and they were all gold. And they found out that with this gold plating, they would take no damage. So the Decepticons, the bad guys, could shoot at them all day long, those shots would just bounce off and not cause any damage. And then the Decepticons found out about the pool. And long story short, it got sealed off, lost to time, whatever. And it was just a temporary coating. So basically it would wash off, dry off, and you're back to your normal get shot by the Decepticons and ow damn my arm hurts or whatever part got shot and you would take damage. But this is, like I said, a pretty cool little golden lagoon figure. Uh, hopefully they'll release some more of the other characters that did show up in that episode and make a whole little golden lagoon set. Alright guys. I'll see y'all next time. Nerd in Texoma signing off. Be good. Be cool to each other. Bye.